how are patients supposed to advocate for themselves right. and get these tests if their doctors refuse? I know. It's and so, what the I've fuck had, is going on? Why are they refusing? I know. The standard recommendation now is like a one-time check of lipoprotein A. But I think that there's just, it's an issue, just like all professions. There's going to be of course. great doctors and there are going to be ones that don't follow the research, that have no idea. You know, there's doctors out there seeing patients who are telling people to go on a carnivore diet. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. And, and that's the unfortunate thing. How do you advocate? I tell everyone this till I'm blue in the face. The best thing you can do is sometimes finding a physician that works for you. And it's not the most convenient thing in the world, but sometimes it's just trial and error. You know, I tell people, if you do not feel like your doctor hears you out, gives you the time, and this may not be in the traditional healthcare model. It may not be all at one visit, right? You may need multiple visits to get all of your questions answered. But if they are someone that is not, you know, willing to work with you, because evidence-based medicine, of course, is based on, of course, guidelines and scientific evidence, the patient's sitting in front of you. But the most important part is called shared decision making. Mm -hmm. This is having a conversation. It's not a unilateral one-way discussion. Every single discussion is, at the end of the day, it's not just me telling someone what to do. It's discussing benefits, risks, their goals, their priorities, their cultural values, their interests, their fears, their preferences. And so if you do not have someone that you feel like is listening to you, especially about a test that's recommended across the board to have one time screened, that's time to find a new primary care doctor. And sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes maybe a lot to go two or three and that's not super convenient, right? Because then you're like, well, I have to take off work and do all yeah, this stuff. It sucks. But at the end of the day, it is your health. And I think partnering with a doctor that you feel like is you're on the same team and you're working together and you can trust is the most important thing for your health.